Now, the only problem with the data animating at this pace is it might be grabbing your attention and that you can see it's moving, but we tend to follow it like a moth to a light, right? Like you, you, you find it difficult to remember where you were because you're looking at where you are now. So one of the things that we can do uh, to help that is we can kind of introduce some memory lines to this animation. And what that means is as we hit key points, we can denote them by just drawing in little lines about what happened to the yield curve. There we go, three months before recession in 79, eight months before recession in 1980. And so these memory lines help us to keep track of what the yield curve was doing at key points in its history. So at this point, I think we've got to a fairly interesting view of how the yield curve is moving and what it does, right? And I think it, it does a little bit more than the spread chart of doing that. Now at the FT, I showed this to people and said, here we go, there's a product, there's an animated yield curve. And our video producer said, well, you know what? It's a bit quiet, right? If I'm going to make a video of this, because it takes a, it's about three minutes, this 40-year animation, if I'm going to make a video of this, we need to think about a soundtrack. And at that point, we developed a fairly cunning plan. I thought, would it be possible for us to connect this animation, actually, to break that data outside of the web browser and connect it to a music synthesizer to see if we could sonify the data at the same time that it's animating? Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this animation back to um, two seconds per day. And what I'm going to do is switch on. I've got a music synthesizer connected to this. And what I'm going to do, we're used to, in the world of visualization, we're used to mapping data to pixels, right? So the data from the Fed is being converted into a position on that y-axis, OK? And now, instead, what I want you to imagine is, instead of going data to pixels, what we're going to do is we're going to map data to pitch by quantizing the data to a whole tone musical scale. And then we're going to plug that in uh, and see what happens. So for every day of the yield curve that we're animating, it's playing the bonds. Oh. Was the change right now? If you close your eyes, you can kind of tell that that data is going up, right? It's a, it's what a musician would call like a an upward arpeggio, right? Like it's 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 moving up. I wonder what it like sounds like when it's inverted. kind of hear that that's rippling down, right? Like it's, it's clearly a different type of pitching to the, to the regular shape. And then you kind of play with it and think, well, I wonder what it did sound like when we were coming into the financial crisis. <laughs> well, that sounds ominous, right? Like if I was presented with that sound when I logged on in the morning, I'd be making some phone calls, right? Sell, sell, right? 